Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up recurring payments and subscriptions on PayPal. Now this is important if you're maybe running a business where you want to set up those recurring payments so you can create predictable and recurring income in your business. This is how to set up those subscription based payments and subscription plans for your customers so that you can get those recurring payments as a recurring revenue stream in your business. This is great if you maybe uh, have a membership website or a membership plan that you want to sell for a particular type of business. So without further ado, I'm going to be showing you step-by-step -step how to get set up with this in your PayPal account. Now, do keep in mind that you need a PayPal business account in order to do this. So do make sure you go through the steps of getting a PayPal business account or switching a current personal account to a business account before you go ahead and go through this tutorial. And of course, before we dive into things, I do want to mention if you could smash that like button, it really helps out the channel and hit the subscribe button button as well if you want to be notified for future videos. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and now dive into things. So first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into your PayPal business account. Next, what you're going to come up to the top here and click on sales. And then underneath sales, you're going to see sales channels, and then you're going to click on subscriptions. Now, this will take you to the subscription management page where you can then offer subscription plans to your customers for, again, as I said, a more stable and predictable income. And as you can see, you can also get some subscription insights to see you know, what customers uh, like and what to offer next. So in terms of the steps to do this, of course, we're going to be creating a subscription product in order to offer the goods and services, uh, creating a subscription plan, uh, customizing those pricing options, as well as then setting it uh, good to go as well. Now, you can embed this on your website as well as just provide a link that you could share on social media. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with this process. Now, first thing, of course, under the subscriptions, you're going to need to actually create a subscription plan. Uh, so to set this up, we need to create a specific subscription product that we want to offer. Uh, so in this case, for this example, we're going to be using like a gym membership. I feel like that just kind of makes the most sense. Um, you could also do this for maybe lawn care. If you have recurring, uh, you set someone up like a hundred bucks a month for a certain type of lawn care cut. I could see that being pretty popular as well. So maybe those types of things are generally typical like small business memberships that you might want. Uh, so for the product name, we're going to go ahead and go with uh, uh, gym membership uh, just for this example. Uh, you can also add in a product description here. So, um, you know, something like, I don't know, basic uh, level. You could create also different tiered subscriptions in here as well. Uh, we're just going to be keeping it pretty simple. Uh, so we have basic level gym membership, uh, product ID. If you skip it, it'll just generate a product ID for you. Um, but if you do want to type in a specific one, you can do that here uh, under product type. So this would either be physical goods, digital goods, or services. We're going to select services. Uh, and then the industry category. Uh, this is where you can select uh, what type of industry you're in. So in this case, we're exercise and fitness. Uh, and then this is where your customers will find the subscription product on your website. Uh, so this is if you are going to be enabling a browser uh, where you're going to be, you know, copy the URL directly from your browser and paste it here. This is if you're going to be uh, having a product page on your website. Again, this that is optional, but if you are going to be doing that, this is where you would put that here. Uh, same thing for where you'd find the image URL as well. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and click next to skip that process there. Uh, so we have the uh, gym membership basic level. We've created the subscription product. So once we've created the actual product, then we can go ahead and click next here. And this is where you're going to select the type of subscription plan that you want to offer. So as I mentioned, you can create a uh, tiered based pricing where you have a defined uh, price per unit within a certain range based on, you know, something that the uh, the quantity that the subscriber chooses. Uh, fixed pricing is the simplest, which is what we're going to be focusing on here in today's tutorial. Um, but there are four different options. You also have a quantity pricing. So uh, first off, of course, with fixed pricing, this is just simple subscriptions like a monthly gift box or regular access to an advice blog, or in this case, a gym, a basic level gym membership fixed at a certain price. You also have quantity based pricing uh, where customers can choose the quantity that they want per billing cycle. For example, they might want five bags of dog food per month or two trumpet lessons per week. So, uh, you know, you can set specific quantities of a certain subscription based item. 
that you want to offer. You also have volume pricing, so customers can choose the quantity per tier. For example, if they want to purchase 20 pet toys for $20 each, uh, but once they get over 30 pet toys, the overall volume-based discount, this would be good if maybe you have like bulk suppliers uh, that you have purchasing from you or something like that. Like depending on what business you're running and operating, volume-based pricing could be good for uh, wholesale discounts and things like that. Or of course the tiered pricing where, you know, the first one to 20 plants would cost $20, next 21 to 40 would cost 17. Uh, so we're just gonna stick with fixed pricing, but you have quite a few options here, which uh, is pretty nice that PayPal does offer that. We're gonna go ahead and click next. Of course, we have uh, gym membership is the product name. Now the plan name, we're just gonna go with basic again um, and just type in basic for the plan description, uh, just to keep things simple. And then you can also define pricing for this subscription plan. So uh, again, you'll be able to review all this before you turn it on, but you have the currency that you can set. So in this case, we're in US dollars, uh, depending on what country you're in, you know, you could select the specific currency. Again, PayPal is a pretty international company. Uh, so if you're in other countries watching this video, you can also select different currencies there. Uh, you have uh, pricing, so you can charge a one-time setup fee. This can be an additional uh, setup fee, uh, fee that they will pay with the first trial period or billing cycle. You can also offer a trial period as well. You can add up to two trial periods uh, and each can have its own frequency. So this could be good if maybe you do like a 10-day uh, free trial 14 day free trial uh, or a seven day free trial, something like that. I know a lot of gym memberships usually have some sort of trial period um, or a setup fee as well. So you can add a setup fee here. In this case, let's just say like, I, I don't know, a $30 setup fee. People kind of hate setup fees, um, but <laughs> it does kind of make sense for the business as well, like it's, it's a, to do setup fees. Uh, so it is something like just to keep in mind, but it is nice that you can uh, offer these here as well. Um, offer a trial period. So we can do a trial period one. So the price is, let's just say $0 um, for seven days and it's one single cycle. So it's a free trial for seven days. Let's just say that. Uh, and then the billing cycles. So you can set limited billing cycles if you want this to be, um, you know, set up to be a limited or unlimited. The difference mainly unlimited would be just, it would continue forever. Uh, limited would be more if it's like a subscription plan that's set to expire after a certain amount of time. Um, so it would only run for so many cycles, basically. It would run for X amount of months, and then it would end. Whereas unlimited is like forever until they cancel, basically. Uh, which most people probably are going to be doing the unlimited. But if you are creating like payment plans with your subscriptions, then the limited billing cycles feature could be really useful for you in that case. Uh, so we're going to say it is uh, 39 a month every month, um, something like that, or, you know whatever you want to do here. Maybe it's only $19 a month. It's a cheaper place. Okay. Uh, and then you can also add in tax calculations. You can either add tax to the price or include it in the price. We're just not going to calculate taxes for the sake of this video, but uh, you know, make sure you actually get the proper tax uh, advice for your business. Again, this is not like a tax video itself, um, but just make sure you're calculating taxes properly uh, for depending on the type of business that you're running and the goods and services that you're selling as well. Uh, and then as you can see here, if you have a missed billing cycle, then a subscription can be paused as well, uh, which can be really good so that like the person doesn't continue to get access or uh, something like that. So if it's failed, then it will keep the subscription active if it's zero. So uh, if there's a failed payment, then it will notify you as well. So that's something just to keep in mind. Uh, and then the outstanding payment will be added to the next billing cycle. I would recommend just leaving these as the default. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click next. And as you can see, it generated the product ID, gym membership, basic level, uh, basic, fi basic fixed pricing. We have a $30 setup fee. Uh, as you can see, subscriber can cancel subscription anytime. Once canceled, we'll notify you uh, and payments will be, be made at the beginning of the billing cycle. So $30 setup fee for this gym uh, trial period. So $0 for the first seven days. And then after that, it's going to be $19 every month forever and ever uh, and ever and ever and ever. Uh, and then we have no tax and it's a one missed billing cycle is when it will pause. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and click turn plan on. And then this will create uh, the 
the subscription, of course. So next, what you have here is the ability to then copy this code if you need to copy this uh, to your website, and then you can create sort of like a landing page on your website, uh, and you can customize and copy this code and add it and share it with the developer. Um, in terms of the overall um, design of this, again, depending on if you want it to look like vertical or side to side, you can set up PayPal subscription buttons. Uh, so PayPal subscribe, they can also pay with PayPal or debit or credit card as well. Um, so that's a pretty easy setup there. You also have the horizontal view, um, vertical view. You also have pill versus rectangle, uh, different colors. If you want it to be blue, gold, uh, silver, white, if you just can kind of change the look and feel, or if you want it to be black to better match your business and brand, we're just going to go ahead and stick with gold. You can also set the uh, button text to just be PayPal or, and I would probably recommend keeping it to subscribe just so it makes makes it more clear. Uh, now, this is where you would then copy that code uh, if you need the code and you can uh, add this to your website. This is where you're going to get this code if you want to uh, copy and paste it and add it to your website or if you just want to go and manage the plans that you have. Uh, we can go through here and this is where you're actually going to get the link if you just want the direct link. Um, if you wanted to copy the code, again, we are now in the subscription plan manager because we already have a single uh, subscription plan created, uh, as you can see here. And this is again under sales and under the subscriptions tab. So subscriptions plan, we have the basic subscription. It is enabled currently. And then to get the code again, if you missed it or if you just want to copy the link, uh, all you have to do is scroll down. Uh, under here, under the subscription you created, click on the three dots here, and then you can see the details of the plan, uh, or if you want to turn it off, or and this is where you get the copy code and copy link. So if we copy the link, uh, we go ahead and copy this link here, um, and then we go ahead and uh, paste this in here, and we go ahead and go to this link. This is where you can then share this via email and social media uh, for people to then go and actually check out uh, on the account. So as you can see here, you know, in this case, you know, we're logging into the account of the seller for this purchase. So you would need, of course, a separate PayPal account um, if you wanted to actually go in and pay for this, because again, you can't actually go in and see uh, what the subscription is from your seller account. It does need to be separate from the purchase account, but I just want to show you this for the sake of this tutorial. Uh, if you click here, as you can see here, Valesky Enterprises subscription details, free for seven days is what essentially this would appear for your customer is this subscription details here. Uh, so free for seven days, then $19 each month renews until you cancel starts on February 5th. That's today's date, basic, and then one-time setup fee. And you would just pay that seven, that one-time setup fee. Uh, and then it's free for seven days and then it's going to be $19 each month. So that's essentially what the subscription would look like on the next checkout page. I just want to show you that here again, you do need a separate PayPal account uh, to actually pay with it because you can't log in with the seller account uh, to purchase your own subscription, right? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but that's essentially what it will look like. Pretty easy, nice summary, honestly, in my opinion. PayPal does a really good job of making it very clear to the customer as to what subscription that you've actually created here. And it uses your own naming system here as well for the name of the subscription and what that pricing plan actually looks like. Again, all you have to do is then, you know, copy and paste uh, that link, uh, and it will take you into, you know, your account, right? If you have that link, all you have to do is that it will take you, um, to that page there. Uh, and you'll basically be set up with that subscription, uh, that you've created. So, uh, yeah, guys, I mean, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you want to see the link again, we just go here. Uh, we go ahead and it will show us the page again. This is just asking us to log back into PayPal. But guys, that pretty much uh, wraps up this video here today. If you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful on how to create and manage your subscriptions on PayPal, then go ahead and smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.